Uh, I am Zafrul Islam Khan. I belong to India. I am the editor of uh, a Muslim newspaper there, which is called Milli Gazette. It's not Turkish Milli Gazette. It's Indian Milli Gazette. I am also president of the All India Muslim Majlis e Mushawarat, which is the apex body of Indian Muslim organizations. I am here in Istanbul to participate in the, uh, uh, the, 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 the general body conference of the uh, International Union of Muslim Scholars. The situation in India is, uh, is, is, is very complex. It's not a simple situation. We, uh, in some places, we are facing problems. In some places, we are well off and doing well. So, uh, in, a, in a situation like India, which is a free country, a democratic country, a law-abiding country, a country of institutions, uh, we have lots of problems, but at the same time, there are many avenues for us to work and to progress and to be heard and to, to, to do what we want. So, we are active in, in lots of things. Every now and then, we have our own new Muslim universities, Muslims, uh, new colleges, new schools, uh, any, any, anything that we want we can do because it's a free country and a democratic country. But also uh, at this very time, uh, the ultra-nationalist Hindu right is now ascendant and it is now actually ruling the country for the last three months, uh, which creates problems not only for Muslims but uh, for others also because uh, such uh, ultra-nationalist uh, movements do not believe in real democracy. They use democracy to reach uh, 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 to, the, to, the, uh, to, to, to govern the country, to reach to the seat of power, uh, and they misuse it. So we are afraid that maybe the next five years will be difficult, uh, not only for Muslims, but also for, for, the, for the whole country as a, as a whole. Uh, for uh, human rights activists and uh, for NGOs. Uh, they are making problems for NGOs to work. Uh, so this is a difficult situation, but it's still, we believe that India is a democratic country. It is a very free judiciary. Uh, we can go, you know, to courts to, to, to get justice. So it is a mixed bag. It's not a, a very clear situation. Uh, but I believe that the next uh, five years will be bit difficult. In India at this time there are 20, uh, 200 million Muslims. We are the second after Indonesia in terms of numbers. But the problem is, is that we don't have political power. We are still a minority. India is a very big country in terms of population. Uh, uh, 1.2 billion you know population. So in that uh, big you know ocean we are a small you know lake. Uh, but still, uh, in some places, we are in great numbers, especially in, no in, in North India. In Kashmir, we are the majority. In Assam, in West Bengal, in Bihar, in Uttar Pradesh, these are the states. We have a sizable number of populations. And also, there are other pockets in the south also. Uh, but in general, we are a small minority, a 14% minority in the country. So I think the basic problem is that uh, some foreign powers, especially the Amer Americans and their uh, lackeys in London and in Paris, uh, in cahoots with uh, their agents in the Middle East, in the Arab world, they do not allow moderate Muslims to work. And when you do not allow moderates to work, then uh, the extremists take, you know, uh, take their place. I mean, if you have allowed, for instance, Muslim Brotherhood, you will not be having Al Qaeda and Daesh and all these these these, these things, because these these people, are Muslim Brotherhood. I am not a Muslim Brotherhood, but I am just saying that these people are moderate and they are ready to understand and 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 and, and to, to 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 have a dialogue with you. Uh, unlike these extremist forces, we don't believe in dialogue. Either you believe in them or you are uh, murtad then and, and, and you should be killed. So in this, I suppose that uh, Western powers as well as local powers which are in alliance with Western powers are responsible for this situation 
which is facing us, you know, in, in, this, in this region. A, a big region, actually. The whole, a, 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 a large part of the Muslim world now is infested with such extremist people. And this is because uh, moderate people were not allowed to work. Every time there is an election, maybe in Turkey, maybe it is in Algeria, maybe in Egypt, even Hamas, they are moderate people and you don't allow them to work. You, 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 you place uh, you know, hurdles in, 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 in their way. So these uh, other, uh, other forces which don't believe in democracy, which don't believe in dialogue, they come forward and they um, somehow uh, are able to attract uh, the youth which is dis disenchanted. And uh, there are forces in the Muslim world and also outside the Muslim world which are ready to arm these people and finance these people. And this, uh, you know, starts a, a big problem uh, which will not go so easily uh, because even these extremist forces are now quite uh, uh, powerful in terms of money, arms, and now you have Daesh, they have their own big area which is as big as, uh, as UK. So it uh, creates lots of problems uh, for moderate Muslims, uh, not only in Muslim countries, even for us, uh, we are a minority in India, it also has its implications for us because the government there says that this uh, phenomenon might be important in India also. And they are actually actively talking about this, how to stop Daesh influence coming into India. The reason is that Muslims are now fragmented in various schools of thoughts. Yes. And instead of uh, getting their inspiration directly from the Quran and the, from the Sunnah of the Prophet, yes. they get inspirations for later books which were written by this Imam or this great personality or this Sufi leader or so on. Yes. So this is this is this is the problem because uh, we have got this source. This, this uh, the, we, instead of the real source, we are going to secondary right. you know sources, and this creates problems. So it's uh, we should instill. Uh, this important message into our young generation that instead of going to uh, take your Islam and take your religion from secondary sources, go to the uh, to, 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 to the first class source, which is Islam, which is the Quran and uh, and, and the Sunnah of the Prophet. That is our source, and every generation should try to find you know uh, its way through uh, this source. We are not bound by earlier imams and earlier uh, earlier leaders every generation has a responsibility to understand uh, this message and to grasp what it is uh, according to its own situation according to the uh, to the world which is which in which they are living at that time well turkey is giving uh, offering a very good example of a modern state of a state which is alive to the problems of the muslim world and i think uh, turkey uh, should not get involved in any conflict. It should be a moral power. Yes, uh, if it is a moral power and if it uh, uh, helps, you know, uh, uh, Muslim communities uh, through, uh, for instance, uh, allowing their students to come in and study here and opening schools, for instance, or colleges there, such kind of soft power is more important then giving aid to some, some extremist organization. I hope that, uh, that there is no thought here in, 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 in Turkey which believes in such things. But still I am saying that to become a soft power is much more important to use uh, that kind of uh, uh, methods which, uh, for instance, America uses. Uh, it props up, you know, extremist uh, regimes. And then when uh, that regime, you know, has uh, 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 becomes useless for them, they go and, and, and bomb them. So that kind of policy is, is not good. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, Turkey is emerging as a big uh, international power and also Turks are uh, taking care of Muslim issues, which is very good. But I think uh, people should not get directly involved in those issues. You should have a little distance from them that will be a better uh, policy.